Hi guys and gals, Cyclic here again with the CX-10C, the one with the camera on it, and uh, just going to go over uh, putting the wire antenna modification on it. You can see I've already put the, the wire right here on the board. I already have it kind of tore apart because I have other videos with tearing them apart. This one comes apart pretty much the same way as the other CX-10, so I didn't think it would be a good to make a long video. So anyway, what we got? We've got the wire here, and uh, this is the grid section on the board. This is the bottom side of the board, uh, and it's just a, a little. Uh, you can see a, a, a wiggly gold underneath the blue. That's the wire antenna wire or grid, what they call trace antenna. And uh, I used a razor knife and scraped a little bit of the blue uh, coating off, uh, don't take any of the metal off, uh, just real carefully scrape a little of the blue off. On the left side there's a square section with a hole in it. That's where it, it goes into the board uh, attaching to the receiver. So uh, I also, uh, uh, from going following Sirius Flyer on RCG, he said he cut the trace and is just running the wire only. Um, and on the last one I did, uh, which was a HY851 that was successful. I left uh, the trace connected and uh, just put it on. I think I did one of each. I'm not too sure. So uh, I thought I'd just follow what Sirius did and cut the, the trace and just run the wire straight to the receiver. So uh, I scraped a little off, uh, tinned the, the square section, and then tinned the end of my wire. And this is a the banjo string wires that I, I'm using, uh, it's stainless steel and I used uh, point, this one here, the point zero one six inch diameter and uh, why I like this string is because uh, if you know guitar string is usually two wires, an inner wire and then a wire wrapped around it, this, this wires are just solid wires so I didn't have to unwrap them and they work great, they're stainless steel and the the 16 thousandths millimeter seem, or inch seems to work good for this size, so I, I'm sticking with it. So uh, I got the antenna wire on there, and I'm going to have to notch the the board right where the antenna touches. I'll probably just use a razor knife and just make a little notch right there where it comes through, and then uh, I don't. I'm probably make a little 45 degree bend up uh, once I get it together. So the other thing I did was here you notice I got a black pad inside the motor holder because uh, I you know these little uh, motor wires tend to short out and break and and get rubbed off uh, and I noticed on uh, the quad on Sirius's quad there was he had to tear it apart because the, one of the wires uh, was was shorted out right there you know on top of the motor. Um, right here usually in this area where they they'll hit the the corner of the motor so I've got some of this little floppy uh, uh, cell phone pads that to use you know for the dash of your car uh, to keep your cell phones from slipping or whatever else and uh, I've got a, a hole puncher and I've just made some little circles and I'm going to put them in the in the holders there and hopefully it'll help prevent the wires from getting damaged and, and smash it'll give it a softer more quick and also hold them still because it's kind of grippy so they won't slide around and want to you know from the vibration and what have you so hopefully that'll work out and that's pretty much it um, taking it apart putting it together it's pretty much the same as my uh, other videos for the, the little nano quads um, you know the four screws these ones had the clips on the end and I almost had all of them off, uh, but the last clip broke, so I'm going to probably do a wire mod or maybe the liquid electrical tape to help hold it together because it'll still have the four screws, but um, we'll probably end up just doing a wire mod to help it out since the clips are broken. So that just seems to be normal for these nanos. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Bye.